Okay, um, looking at this problem, it seems like you made a silly mistake. One thing that you did um, was you didn't define your variables appropriately. When you're doing the problem, it seems like you you said, um, you know, you, you correctly identified you needed 33 grams of protein. So you said 30, excuse me, let me get my pen going here. 33P and 108 carbohydrates. Um, so you try to use those as your variables. But no, they're not variables. We know what they're supposed to be. They're supposed to be 33 and 108. So we don't want that. Our variables are the things we're trying to solve for. So what they're saying is how should you prepare your meal? How much cereal and how much milk should I be eating and drinking? So I'm just bringing up your problem very quickly on my other computer. Let me wait for that to come up. There we go. So how much how much Cheerios and, uh, and how much milk should you be eating and drinking? So our variables should be C and M for number of servings of Cheerios, number of servings of milk. Um, yeah, I hope that makes sense. All right. So now, how are we going to put that together? Well, the easiest way to think about this is saying if these are our variables, we need to create equations that have something to do with number of amount of whatever Cheerios and the amount of milk. That's the worst I ever. Let's get rid of that I and make a new one. There we go. Alright, so the first thing we need to do is, so the way that I see this is I say, I know I need a total of 33 grams of protein. So I'm going to make a protein equation. 33 should be equal to, alright, so now, how much, how much protein is in my Cheerios? So protein. Protein equation. How much protein is in my Cheerios? So I go up here and find it. There we go. Cheerios contains three grams of protein. Okay, so for every serving of Cheerios I eat, I'm going to have three grams of protein. Now, how much protein does milk have in it? Milk has four grams of protein. So, four grams for every glass of milk. There's one equation. My next equation will be very similar, but this one's for carbohydrates. So my carb equation would be 108 is equal to, and then I set this one up similarly. Now, when you go through and solve it, I think that'll help you see it, um, but I'll finish it out for you anyway. So the Cheerios have 24 grams of carbs, and the milk has six grams of carbs. So now to set this up, setting up, setting it up in our new form, I would say, okay, the coefficients would be three, four, 24, six. And our variables would be Cheerios and milk. How much of each of those should I eat? So now when you go back through those, my pen's acting a little funny. Excuse me. Let me scroll. There you go. So when I go through this, you can see the matrix multiplication would say 3 times C plus 4 times M, and that gives us back what we originally started with, 3C three, three plus 4M, and that should equal, that should equal 33. Then same thing down here, so this should equal 108. Um, so now that gives me, let me get in the circles, there we go. So that gives me my equations or sorry, my matrices, so now I'm ready to solve. So I need to get rid of this matrix, so I need to multiply by, if we call this A, this X, and this B, I need to multiply by A inverse. So I'm going to find A inverse of this in my calculator, or we could always use the pattern, where you then switch the diagonal and negative, you know, opposite of the, the other diagonal, but we won't worry about that. Just find it in the calculator. So then I'm going to take A inverse and multiply it by 33, 108, and that should give me my answer in terms of Cheerios and milk. I hope that's helpful. Let me know.